Hey guys, this is Alien One Tech. Okay, so Apple released the iPhone 4S, and the question on everybody's mind is why should I go out and spend $200 on a new iPhone? Well, I did a review of the iPhone 4S for you, and here is what I found. Basically, there are only five major differences. The first one is Siri. Siri is the only thing that really sets it apart from the iPhone 4. Siri is in Apple terms, your own personal assistant, which is pretty nice. It lets you use your voice to send messages, schedule meetings, place phone calls, and much, much more. To activate Siri, you hold down and press the home button and say what you want to say. When in a quiet environment, Siri is very accurate, even when you are in a car traveling 65 miles per hour, which is pretty fast. Sadly, I did notice that when you are in a room with others talking nearby, Siri makes plenty of mistakes. Some that actually kind of make you want to laugh. It is still in beta though, so having mistaken what I am saying is something that will be happening. One thing that is different from other voice recognitions is that you can have conversations with Siri, but you can't replace it with friends, sadly. For example, you can ask it, how's the weather in New York today? It will answer by showing you the iPhone's weather app with New York's data displayed. Then if you ask it, where are good Italian restaurants there? Siri responds by finding 24 Italian restaurants in New York, sorted by rating. It knows you're still talking about New York. It is something that is pretty clever. It is also something to be reckoned with because it's an all new voice recognition. I do hope to see more improvements in the future when it is fully released. Next is the all new A5 chip, which has already been seen. This chip is virtually identical to what is being used in the iPad 2. If you have seen the iPad 2, you know how smooth it is. This brings no exception to the iPhone 4S performance. With this new A5 chip on the iPhone 4S, it brings with it an all new dual core. The iPhone 4S becomes power efficient with this A5 chip, which improves the battery life from 7 hours to 8 hours from the iPhone 4. It also pushes an improved graphics which is 7 times faster. Next up is the upgraded camera. It has 60% more pixels, a sharper and faster lens, and a newly engineered illumination sensor. The iPhone 4S image files open to an impressive 22.9 megabytes, about the size of many recent mid-range point and shoot camera files. The new lens shoots fixed at aperture of 2.4, a half stop brighter than the iPhone 4 camera. Unfortunately, the camera does not contain any other significant manual controls. It would be helpful to have some options to adjust exposure manually, instead of having to poke around the screen to select an area that produces good exposure. Continuing on with the improved HD video camera, this new HD video camera now shoots in 1080p instead of 720p from the iPhone 4. It does use the aperture of 2.4 lens and brings the improved sensor to capture more light with it. The other thing that the iPhone 4S has is a new video stabilization. Panning around back and forth is very nice and smooth, but when you get more into running with the camera, it does get very shaky, and you do not see hardly any stabilization whatsoever. The macro shots on the video camera are impressive, but sadly it has trouble focusing most of the time. And this is a problem that will hopefully will get fixed in the future. And the last thing I do want to point out is the all new antenna. I have not seen this done before in any mobile phone. The iPhone 4S intelligently switches between two antennas to transmit and receive. What this does is improve on-call quality. And it doubles the maximum HSDPA data speeds to 14.4 megabytes per second from the iPhone 4 which is 7.2. The reason for this improvement is because of the problem the iPhone 4 had, which was called the death grip, where it would lose signal to the point of actually dropping your call just by holding it. This will not happen anymore with this all new antenna. Well that's it, thank you for watching and I hope this review will help you become aware of the major differences between the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4. This is Alien1Tech signing out, bye.